What is going on guys? My name is Roman back again from Roman Reviews here with another episode of reaction to Darwin's game. This is going to be episode 3, Ignition. Now I know a lot of people are on the fence on this show whether or not they like it or not, or whether or not it's even good or not. Uh, me personally, it, would I say it's the best show of the season? No. I think Science Fell in Love, so I tried to prove it, is the number one ranking right now. And I'm even feeling that it, um, Inspector is actually beating this in terms of, like, coolness. But we'll see. This is only the third episode. It's really hard to really judge something really on the basis of that. So I'm ready to jump into this episode. Hopefully you guys are ready too. I'm going to upload this video and then I'm going to be uploading the very first episode of my Flashback Fridays of a new little OVA thing. It's only two episodes. Uh, next episode will be uploaded next week. So look forward to that. But anyways, guys, I'm ready to jump into this episode. So guys, without further ado, let us jump in to episode three of Darwin's Game. Starting in three... Two, one, let's jam. Bing. Oh, that's the one who, that's where the girl uh, fell. Yeah, that's where their girl fell. 290, okay, so there's 300, not 240. That's a very annoying noise. Oh, it's gonna clear off the city with everyone? It's almost like a, uh, they hypnotized them all. Oh, shit, so that means anyone who's sticking around is a player. That actually is smart, but also kind of scary. Alright, and of course the opening. So, I'm a little bit curious as to see what's going to happen with this episode. Um, I wonder if the entire episode is going to be dedicated to... Um, no, I take that back because we're going to get the, uh, the information broker. She's going to be popping in because she got summoned. Uh, which is kind of odd, though. It seemed like... They randomly picked people. Like, it was a random 300 people that picked. A um, little bit curious to see what's going to happen with that. And I wonder what we're, if we're going to begin the other duo, them, those two. Those two peeps and geeks. There's still a lot of people, like, I wonder, I there, I mean, I know the sh series is still ongoing, um, I don't know if it's a light novel, I think, yeah, I think the light novel's still going on, um, so we, ha we have a, quite a while before we need to even, we're not gonna finish, like, th this show is not gonna wrap up anytime soon. Now, whether or not we're gonna get a second season, of course, depends all on the Blu-ray and DVD sales. Which is kind of funny, though, because I think D to seeing DVDs still being on sale is kind of odd, because nearly everything runs on Blu-rays nowadays. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's actually like gems, gems. Oh, but they said there was rings, so it's the gems that are inside the rings. I knew, it was, I knew there was going to have to have some type of battle royale kind of aspect to this. Oh, player search doesn't work, so you have to just find people. So. Looks like a Megatama. Oh, only three rings. That's actually not too bad. That's actually not too bad, but how many rings are allowed, or are shown? There's 300. There's 300 players. Well, 299. So you basically get three and hide.
I don't think you can contact either, huh? And the app they refuse, yeah. Oh, well, not, uh, I don't even think they'll allow you to do that. Oh, shit. Damn. That means 100 people are going guaranteed de dead. At the very least. Very least. So I wonder, like, oh, this show. Okay. Interesting. Oh, interesting. And ah, okay. It's a ruby. Fifty million yen. Jesus Christ. Is it gonna be someone right outside? So <sighs> well, there was someone right outside. How many people have died already? You should also bring out your. You should also probably bring out your, uh, your gun or weapon. And they can tell who where you are too because it counts on your. It shows on you. He, he's, they're gonna know exactly where you are. Is, I wonder if it's that chick. It's the uh, information broker. Oh, it's that dude with the machine gun. What is that, an RPK? Looks like an RPK. Why is there grass there? Does it block some people in? Fuck, you had to fight. It's fight or flight. And you can't flight. So you gotta fight. <laughs> Above. He's gonna shoot down the floor. Oh. You know, he's going to ask. I don't think he's going to believe him. And then he... He's got a point. He's got a point. He's gonna throw away the gun. No. Of course. He's clear. He needs to clear out the jam. That's uh, that. Yeah, you already lost.
I wonder if this dude is like completely decked out. What if this dude's decked out with like anti uh like bulletproof vests? Kevlar uh, Kevlar yeah, Kevlar? Eh. I mean, for some people, yeah. I was waiting how I actually did not think we were going to get see them, but I was wrong. But the other chick, I'm guessing that's a chick, uh, the, with the white hair, didn't wasn't with them. So, you know, it looked like they were like a pair. Oh, it's, it's, it's an information broker. I knew she was going to show up. It's going to blow off the elevator shaft. She's not legal. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. Oh, shit. Uh, okay, I had a feeling it was someone's sigil, but still. Damn. Oh, that's a horrifying... Oh. How do you know my name? Rain. Is there like another? There's there's like oh, so it's one of those. So this is like a game to some people. Wing, that's his name. Oh, it's that guy. It's the guy with the plants is the number one, uh, is the number three right now. To Uzi's, uh, Did they change. Do they change directions? Oh, <laughs> it kind of reminds me of, um, the Tamari demon from, um, Tamara Demon and the Era Demon from Kimetsu no Yaiba with that whole setup, but they they didn't even last that close. So I don't know. Filthy casuals. <laughs> Are you sure about that? It didn't even look like they went that freaking deep into their necks.
true nature of the game. I'm gonna, I'm a little bit interested on in seeing like what the entire point of this is. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying. Is he... He's not dead, though. She also knows way more about you. Yeah, she's, she's she's pretty good at her job. It doesn't count though. Yeah. Very true. But if you think about it, it was also his downfall. I'm also curious of what the butterfly is representing. Apologize for like not talking too much. I'm just watching it. Oh, so he can, so he can remember anything he touches. Okay. Okay. So he has to be able to have it, have at least grabbed it. Okay, so there is a limit. Okay, so it is stupidly overpowered, but at the same time, you need to at least physically touch it to at least be able to bring it up. Possibility. Hmm.
That is true. No. I wonder how much information he has on in general. The florist. Hmm. The other ones weren't. They're not dead. She might want to pull out that uh, rifle. Oh, maybe... Maybe they... He controls them. Yep. Flashbang. Girl has a little fucking flashbang. This is gonna be the end of the episode? Oh, that's right. I totally forgot about the shop. They're being... Yeah, so they're being controlled. Yeah, because it's like, there's no way he's dead. Four? Oh, no, it's the same one. So I don't sell three, though. Yeah, so this guy's pretty damn powerful himself. The vents. Ventilation system. Oh, that too. Duh. I actually thought it I thought it was um Is that Dio? Is that Dio? That sounds like Dio. That's, uh, I think that's Dio. Holy shit. <laughs> All right. You know what? That's cool. With the fact that we had Dio, that, that had to have been Dio. That sounded like his voice. Just, it's, his voice is very unique. Um, but yeah, okay, so we got to see the, we got, we, I knew we were going to, like, see more of the analyst or the information broker. Um, we got to see the guy with the machine gun and the fucking heavy set thing. And you know what, I think, because it seems like they team up, and I think the reason why they team up is because he kills the florist, as I'm assuming. And he's like, oh, I owe you my life for technically doing that. Um, that's my guess, so, Yeah. But, yeah, good episode. Um, I am curious as to see, like, how they're going to do this. Now that he knows that they're, he's in the monitoring room, I wonder if he's going to stay there. It would be stupid to. In fact, it would be smarter would be to set up a trap in the monitoring room so when they bust in, just, you know, trap. But I'm assuming that's actually what's going to happen. Uh, but we will see what happens in general. But also, like I said, I look like his sigil, it forces him to at least make contact with that object he made contact with a stun gun because he had he bought one from before he made contact with a handgun because he did he buy one or he got one yeah he was able to get one 
Um, and then the pen, he had touched it, dropped it, I believe, in the first episode, and that's how he's able to make it materialize. Um, so yeah, it seems like a sigil is limited to, it's something he has to physically touch, and I wonder if it's, and it seems like it'd be any inanimate object, object that he touches. Of course, there's probably still limitations, you can't just, like, touch a house and then boom, house right there. That'd actually be pretty damn interesting, though, to say the least. Just summon a house on a guy. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, um, yeah, that was a good episode. Uh, let me know what you guys thought in the comment section below, and I'm gonna go wrap this up, and then... In a little bit, I will be uploading the very first episode of my Flashback Friday series, so look forward to that. Hopefully, I can get it past copyright, this, um, copyright claims. You'll see why. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.